Hey, this is Brian, and today what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the chrome part of the grill um, with a matte black vinyl wrap. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop the hood, and I'm going to show you how to, how to pop these guys out. Okay, so once you've popped your hood, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove this weather stripping. So really all you need to do is just give it a little tug, and it'll come right off. I'm just going to set that right there. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to you're going to see these Torx um, screws. So this one on the end here, I just grabbed this one real quick. It looks like it's a 25 T25. This one seems like it, you could use a little bit bigger. Um, I've heard that they're T30 T30s. Um, I have a T27 and it seems to grab. So I'm going to go ahead and use both of these. And I'm going to take this off here. Okay, after that, I'm just going to continue to loosen it up a little bit. And I'm going to show you a different angle to show you the clips on here. Alright, so at this point, what you want to do, it's good if you have some kind of screwdriver. I'm just going to use this 90 degree tool. And you're going to gently pry this open here. And then each of these clips is going to have a little tab. So what you want to do is just push that tab down and then push it through. It's only going to go a little bit, just so you know. Okay, you can see that I, I've loosened the, the top one. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go in, I'm going to try to get these bottom ones out. Okay, so there's the end and the, uh, the left one. There's the right one, that was pretty easy. For the middle one. Okay. And then just that left this last one. Alright. So there you have it. So that's how you that's how you you take this guy out. Um, the next thing that you want to see and do, I'll try to focus in here. Well first off here here's the clips just so you have an idea of, of what you're going to need to do. So for the, the, the top ones, you need to push down on this little tab, and then the bottom ones you need to pull up. Um, and then, I don't know if you know this, but th these are actually two parts. So if you look at the back again, they're on the sides. Uh, the, the chrome actually comes off of the black plastic. So to, to wrap this, what I want to do first, and you know, before we, act, we have to clean it and everything, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to separate this. And what's, what's easiest is if you actually just get the black the black piece and push it down. Okay, and then it, it falls right apart. And that's how you do it without without breaking anything. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and get your vinyl wrap and make sure you've got a, a piece. Uh, I'm just going to make it a little on the big side. It's always better to have a piece that's a little bit too big rather than a piece that's a little bit too small. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go through it. I'm just going to use regular rubbing alcohol and you want to make sure that you clean um, all of your grill as good as you can. I've already gone through and I've cleaned this one uh, thoroughly, so I'm going to move on to the to the next one here. And again, this is a, a good time to actually clean everything. So make sure that you're cleaning not just the chrome part that we're going to be wrapping, but you want to clean the black part, clean all the fins, and then where the grill goes because that part gets 
really dirty in, unless you take your your grill out. You're not going to be able to clean it um, all that well. And the alcohol, what it's going to do is it's going to really prep the surface. You know, just like you're doing any other vinyl wrap or anything, uh, make sure that the vinyl is going to stick. And then after you, you do this part, you're just going to want to go ahead and let it sit and completely dry. You know, it's alcohol, so it won't take all that long. So this one should be good to go now. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm going to start from this end, and then I'm going to work towards this end. So I'll show you, show you how we're going to go about this. So first thing you want to do, you know, peel off the, the backing. And the good thing to remember is this isn't something to get cheap vinyl on. You want to make sure that you're getting uh, some good stuff, whether it's 3M or Avery or Marlon. Um, this is the, the Avery. I don't know the exact model of it, um, but I, I can look that up for you if you like. This is the same thing if you saw my video on how to wrap a diffuser. This is the same film that I used for that. Okay. Now my, my piece is a little bit big, which is okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and just cut some of this extra off in case I need it for another project. Alright, so what we want to do now is we want to make sure that we start and we get, get the flat areas. So as we mentioned before, I want to start on, on this end. So I'm going to just go through with my hard card. Try to lock that down. And then with this, you're, you're really going to need to use a good amount of heat because of all the, all the curves and everything. Basically what you do is you heat the film up and then you can stretch it around. If you ever mess up, you get you get a little bunched up like this. All you really need to do is just re reapply the heat, and then you'll be able to stretch it and smooth it back out. The other thing when you get when you get good vinyl is if you have any little bubbles, you can just press them right out with your finger, which is really nice. Here's a couple places. And all we need to do is just add a little bit of heat. And that'll, that'll kind of self-correct. Um, you can see here, here's another one here. This is a pretty big one. So what I'll do is I'll just lift up the vinyl a little bit. Repeat it. Go ahead and, and get rid of that. 
Okay, so here's some more bubbles. Now, a lot of the a lot of the butter tint has some air release in it, so it, it makes it pretty easy. Um, and vinyl is very forgiving, so you can see I accidentally let the uh, the adhesive stick. But it's nice because all you do is you just kind of pull it, pull it back apart, and then it allows you to, to rework with it. Okay, so again, just just keep going around the border. Um, it's not really getting all that hot, so I can still use my hands. Okay, so you can see I accidentally creased it again there, so what you can do is just lift it up and apply some heat and you can see that wrinkle literally just disappear. And I'm not even really stretching it all that hard when I do this. Okay, so here's a crease and you just rub it and then it'll go away. Same with this one as you're going through. If you ever if you ever have a crease that you're having trouble getting out, what I like to do is just lift it up, reheat it, and you can go ahead and tuck it over. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around again, just make sure that I, I have the entire edge down. Now what I'm, what I'm going to do here, um, there's quite a bit of pressure with the tension because I did have to, to uh, stretch the film a little bit, so I'm just going to cut it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm just going to make a cut around the edge because it's going to be a lot easier to work with the rest of the film in the inside if you're not having to battle this. Um, you can see it's a little bit difficult if, you just have, if you're just doing it yourself. Um, and I'm doing it on a metal table. I guess you, I guess you could use something um, to help secure it, but I don't know if there's really a, a great way to do it. So I'm just going to go around, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut enough so that I can just tuck it around the edge and make it um, not noticeable. You, but you also want to make sure that it's going to stick and it's not going to um, to pop up. Okay, so now I'm this far, so you can see I have it um, tucked around the tucked around the edges, and that that shouldn't come up. But especially since it's going to be clipped into that other piece, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a chair so I can sit down, 
and then I'm going to show you how to do the inside. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the, the inside of this. So what, what I'm going to do is on the bottom, I'm going to cut kind of a, a safe line down the middle. And that's just going to give me kind of a handle that I could use to stretch it. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to, to heat the film and then you'll see we're just going to just very slowly stretch it around. Okay, so now we, we've done the bulk of it, so what we need to do now is we need to just go through and I'm going to stretch it, I'm going to cut it actually around and then I'm going to just stretch it and try and um, you know, make sure that we secure it to this back part. So I'm going to go ahead and, and trim some of this out now. All right, so that's that's where we're at now. Um, looks looks pretty good. I'll show you again. That's what we started at, and now we have a a nice looking matte black um, vinyl wrapped grill. And you know, just so you know, this is probably my third time ever doing any vinyl wrap. So there's things that I'm I'm doing that are probably not. 100% correct, um, but I just wanted to kind of show you that vinyl is very forgiving, and it's very easy to to start using. So, again, what I've learned though, the first time I did vinyl, I bought really cheap vinyl on eBay from China. Um, the price was right, but the stuff was horrible, um, and it did it didn't stretch well, it didn't stick well, and it didn't have the the nice air release. Um, so, it, what you'll notice is if you if you really just invest, I mean. To, to do this this wrap here, to do both of these pieces, is um, is probably about 10 bucks to do, so it's pretty cheap. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to um, put put the grill back together, and then we'll throw this one in the car, and then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll do the other side. All right, so now what we wanna do, is we wanna put this thing together. So I've already gone through and I, I've cleaned the grill. Um, what you want to do is actually start on this side, hook those in, and that's going to make everything a lot easier when you go to snap everything back together.
Okay, so here's the finished grill. So let's go put it in the car. All right, so the installation of this thing is a heck of a lot easier than it was to, to take it out. So basically all you do is put it in here, you, you line it up, and it's in. Piece of cake. So what I'll do is I'll just go, I'll put the other one next to it so you can see the difference. Now I'm not going to actually assemble this one, but I'm just going to, to hold it here so you can see kind of the before and after. Um, and again, this only costs about 10 bucks to do. And you can, I, I did matte because I had it from when I wrapped my diffuser. Um, but you could also do glossy or whatever, whatever color you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, to do this grill now. All right, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and carefully pop this guy back in there. Um, then you want to just put all the screws back in, replace the weather stripping, and you're all done. So... Um, overall, I think it looks pretty good. Um, this is the look I was going for, so I'm glad everything turned out. Again, it costs like about 10 bucks. Um, took me probably an hour or so. Um, the hardest part was really just figuring out how to how to get these grills out. But then w once you get that out, the vinyl wrap, it just takes a little while, and then you'll get it done. So um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much. Bye bye.